Welcome everyone to this month's Crystal Colour Scope. My name's Elizabeth Harper and this is my bag of crystals. So in a moment what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hand into the bag, take a crystal for all of us, read the crystal, the energy, the colours, the influences, just to see what's coming up for our month ahead. Then I'm going to invite you to select either number one, two or three and you can zoom along in the, in the video just to go to your crystal number to find out what the message is for you. I'm also going to invite you to tune in to see if you can connect with what the crystal is or the color before I take it out of the bag. Let me know in the messages below if you did indeed intuit that color or, or the crystal and let me know if the messages resonate for you as well. Okay, you ready? So I'm gonna dip my hand into the bag. See if you can intuit not just the color but you know you might be able to feel it in your body in one of the chakras okay so the crystal is aquamarine so this is for all of us this beautiful aquamarine it's not a tumbled stone it's a it's a rough stone and it has a gorgeous kind of gemmy look to it as well even though it's got a roughness on the outside there's layers to it so aquamarine you know Aqua means water, so it's a very emotional stone. So it links with your emotions, it links with releasing emotions, and it helps you to go with the flow as well. So this is saying that this could be a bit of an emotional month, but you know, it almost looks like a piece of ice. So I get this sense of something that has been stuck, something that has been iced up, something that maybe has been very cold in your system or in your life. It could be that a relationship's been a little bit cold. Then there's a sense with this that something's going to start melting. It's going to start being released. It's going to start moving with the flow. So you might find that emotions that have been stuck start to emerge. You might also find, I mean, you know, we're thinking of this as emotions as in something negative, but it can also be about your creativity and your intuition. Because of this particular beautiful aqua color, it links with creativity. It links to a higher mind as well. So that creativity is opening you up to something wonderful. So if you've had writer's block, then your creativity is gonna start moving with the flow this month. And also with your intuition, it could be that you are expanding your intuition, becoming more intuitive or more in tune with maybe things like meditation, spirituality, that kind of thing. There's a calmness that goes with this stone because of the color. You know, when you think of the water, the aqua, aquamarine, when you think of the ocean, when it's at its most angry, it's not this color, is it? It's, it's far deeper and there's lots of foam on it. So I feel that with this, it's saying that there's a calmness that's there. I also feel there's a gentleness that's with this stone for, for all of us at this moment. Because of the color, there's a sense of clarity that's coming in. So it's saying that questions that you've had, at least over the last few months, they're gonna be answered. You're gonna to get to your answers or you're gonna have some clarity at some aha moments. There is courage that comes with this because it's a mariner's stone. You know, you need courage to go out onto the waters into the big blue ocean. So. It's saying that there's courage that is coming to you, but I, would, I feel almost as if it's courage to say something, courage to speak up because it's a communication stone. It's a, it's a stone of public speaking. It, the turquoise, when you ever get this kind of aqua turquoise color, it links in with the, the heart and the throat at the same time. So it's that green and blue. So it's bringing up your heart into your throat. So it says you will be speaking your truth. And when you speak your truth, it's about teaching, it's about education, public speaking. So it may be just simply that you're, you're giving a toast at a wedding, but I feel there's a little bit more than that as well. You will be saying to others what your truth is this month, sharing your truth. 
So let's say that there's one more energy that's coming up with this, and I feel that it's connected with the layers. So, so it's almost as if, you know, there is an emotional energy that's coming up, but there's layers. So if you find that you get emotional or you get inspiration or you, you become really creative or your communication is bursting out and then suddenly it gets blocked again, I feel that this layer is and pun layer is just saying it's okay, it's going to come back around again. A little bit like in the ocean, the seventh wave, right? Okay, so that's it for that stone. So now I'm going to put my hand into the bag and take a crystal out for each one of the numbers, number one, two, or three. So it's your turn now to select one of those numbers. If you find yourself connecting with all three, that's okay. Listen to your intuition. And remember, see if you can intuit what the color is or the stone is before I pick it out of the bag. Okay, number one, are you ready? So, let's dip into this bag. It's going to be such a big bag, it's getting hard to get my hand inside. Okay, so are you intuiting the color? Nearly forgot there, didn't I? So this is a piece of uh, hemimophite. And isn't it interesting, it's like we just had that aquamarine color and now we've got it again. So maybe you've got a double whammy this month with this particular color. So hemimophite, is a stone of ascension. It brings in more light into your aura, more light into your life. When you say you bring more light in as well, it's like you are lightening up, you're cleansing. Things are becoming clearer to you. You are getting more information. You know, you throw light onto a subject, you get more information. But this is also saying that you have more empathy for yourself because of that light coming in. It's almost like there's a deeper understanding. There's more of a spiritual understanding. There's more of an understanding of who you are and why you're here as well. And I feel as if with that, you are maybe loving yourself more, although it, it feels like it's a little bit different from loving yourself. It, it just feels like you are accepting yourself more. You maybe have more empathy for yourself. And as a consequence of that, you have more empathy for others as well. So you might find because you are becoming lighter, you're bringing more light into your system, that you understand others more than you have done in the past. This could be really helpful from a teaching perspective, from a learning perspective, because if you are learning something that is difficult to understand, then this stone is saying that you're going to have a much easier time of it this month. But I also feel that it's a relationship energy too, that you are going to make better connections with people this month. It's almost like you have this empathy with others. There's more of a, a link telepathically to people. And I feel that because of that light, you are going to be drawing people to you that are more on your level, more on your light level as well. So this also says that you are taking responsibility for your life you know because of that light it, it's like you are it, it's no longer burdensome so anything that you felt like has been a, a burden to you you will be taking more responsibility for that and saying okay just suck it to me I can take it I can manage it you know whatever the universe gives you the divine has given you the ability to manage, to, to cope with. There is a sense with this of, because of that light again, it's always going back to the light, that you are considering or will develop a healthy lifestyle. So you might change your diet, you might start running or um, changing the way that you think becoming more positive, letting go of negativity, that kind of thing. It has, it's a turquoise color, it's very light. It's, it's, you know, when I first took it out of the bag, I thought it was Larimar. It has a very light essence to it. And because of this, it, it's almost like it's a, a stone of luck. It has some green in it, so it has a, a kind of a luck 
element to it. So I feel that because of all this light and because you're lightening up, you're allowing more to come into your life. So if you imagine that you have a wardrobe full of outfits, it's like you're lightening your load. You're getting rid of that some of the stuff that you don't need. You may not be doing that, but it's just an example. Because you're lightening your load, you're allowing more light into your life and therefore you're allowing more luck in as well. So I feel that there's an aspect of abundance that goes with this particular stone, but it's not necessarily physical abundance. There's a spiritual growth that goes with this. So that abundance can come in the form of wonderful blessings. So I feel as well with this that it's saying that Whatever has been influencing you in your life, good or bad, you are going to notice it. You're going to figure out if it's the way you want to go from now on. So looking at the influences in your life can also mean the people that have been influencing you as well. And it may be that you want different influences. So start looking for mentors, start looking for people that you really aspire to, their, their message you really aspire to. And then with this particular energy, it takes you to that level, that ascension, where you can become the same as that person or that quality that you aspire to. That's really, that's really lovely. I love that. So bring that color into your energy field this month to help you, to take you to that next level of being. Okay, number two, are you ready? Okay. Get the stone, remember to intuit. Uh, what the color of the stone is. I've got it out the bag right now, but see if you can intuit if it connects to one of your chakras. All right, okay. So this is a stitch site. It's uh, it's kind of a, it looks almost like ruby, doesn't it? It's a pinky, magenta, fuchsia, lilac stone, all kind of rolled into one. So this is a, a, a heart stone because of that, that sort of magenta pink and it definitely has a, a look like a ruby. It heals unresolved issues. It connects to the heart, but it also connects to the, to the crown chakra, the third eye, because of all these kind of colors that are blended into it. So I feel with this that it's saying that, it's saying almost that you are, you're healing a lot this month, but you're also going to be really active as well. So there's almost a feeling of healing whatever has been in your way and now you can start moving along a path which is linking with love. It's very much connected to love and to your heart. So whatever is in your heart, this stone is saying that path is going to come, is going to become more important for you this month, more than any other month in the year. So, so I feel as if it's about your purpose and your purpose for living, your purpose for being, I feel like it's, it's bringing in companionship, bringing in love, but there is something that needs to be healed first. So before you can really open up to that purpose, to that path, to that companionship, to the love, something is going to be healed first. It's an unresolved issue. And when I look at this stone, I don't know if you can see that, there's a there's like a line that's going through the stone. And when I when I look at that, I see that image of two hands that are connecting together and like a lightning strike that goes between them. And I feel that this is what this stone is about for you this month. It almost looks like a little little hand there, a little finger that's coming together. I feel that this is saying there's a lot of healing that's going to happen. There's a lot of healing in relationships for you this month. And I'm getting this image of either a promotion or, or going for an interview for a job or, or something where people are going to be judging you, but they're judging you in a good way. So they're seeing your qualities, they're seeing what you're good at, they're seeing how fabulous you are, 
But what I'm also getting with this stone, you know, um, stitch tie often comes up with uh, serpentine and serpentine is a, a green stone. So when you get these two colors together, it, it connects to healing confidence. It says that you've had a lack of confidence in a particular area of your life. So now what's happening is part of that healing that's going to come up for you this month is confidence. It's healing your confidence. So people will be speaking about you and of you, but they will be speaking about you in a great way because that confidence will empower you and it will also empower them to see the good qualities that, that's in you. Hopefully all that makes sense. This is a particular good stone for hyperactivity. So if you have an issue with hyperactivity if you've been really nervous or stressful or if you're around people that are hyperactive or children then this stone is great for that I can feel shivers coming through me as I as I say that so it's the truth so this is something that you may need right now I'm also getting the sense of putting it next to your heart if you get this stone just linking it to help you to link with the heart and the heart issues and to link with your heart and your purpose and the companions and the love that is coming into your life this month. One last thing with this, I'm getting this sense of a journey. So it could be the journey that we've already spoken about. It's a, a spiritual journey, uh, but this I get this sense of a physical journey as well. So I almost get this kind of stop, start, stop, start feeling to it. But don't worry about it because it's almost like as soon as you're ready, that journey will begin. And, you know, it could be that I'm thinking of it as a spiritual journey, but it could also be a physical trip to a place that will, oh, it feels like it's going to give a lot of nurturing to your soul, to your heart, and to your confidence as well. Okay, number three, are you ready? If you can intuit the color, the stone. See if you can intuit it in your chakras, okay. So this is an elestial quartz. So if you see on one side, it has this little white spot, and then the other side, it's kind of clear with some, it's almost like skeletons that are, are going through it. And that's an aspect of this particular stone it's a it's a high vibrational stone it links with other dimensions it takes you to another dimension but it often has a little bit of a skeleton in it and that skeleton is like the skeleton in your wardrobe in your closet it, it connects to karma so it connects to something that has been an issue for you in other lifetimes a challenge for you in other lifetimes you may not believe in other lifetimes, so it could be in this life. And that skeleton is coming up to be healed. So I feel as if there's a person that's coming into your life that's going to help you with that. And it may be that that person is just gonna trigger a memory of that little skeleton in your closet. So with this, it has white on one side. White is about cleansing and it's about wiping the slate clean. So I really feel that this month there's an opportunity for you to find whatever it is that maybe has been your skeleton in your closet and to remove it or to bring it out into the open so that, yeah, so it can be cleansed. Then the other side of this, the other side of this almost looks like little veins that are coming through here. And you know, when I first took it out, I wondered if it was a, a piece of strawberry quartz, but then I turned it over and realized it was an elestial quartz. So it has this sort of orangey, orangey red color that's moving through it. So I feel as if emotionally, you're gonna have many ups and downs over this month. You know, you could say that for everybody, but I feel as if this is a really intense month for you. There is a, a lot of emotional burdens to overcome. There's, not to make that negative, not at all. The emotional burdens are coming up because you can move through them. You're going to be tested and you're gonna move through them. And I feel like you're gonna move through them with flying colors. There isn't an, an 
essence and energy that's coming in here that is about healing for you. So this really is a very big healing month. There's a lot of energy that's connecting with your childhood. That's the orange. And there's a lot of energy that's connecting with immaturity as well. So this might not be about you. This could be about the people that are around you and you just figuring out if you want to be around that group or around that kind of energy right now or in your future. There's a gentleness that comes with this. And I feel that memories are going to be coming up. So that links again with the karma. I feel that memories are going to be coming up and there's kindness that comes with these memories. And it feels like family members are linking in with that memory and with the kindness at the same time. So I'm also getting the sense of changing something about the way you look, which is sort of interesting. So it may be that you look in the mirror and you just look different, or it could be that you look in the mirror and think, oh, I need to get my hair cut. You know, there's a sense of changing something, but that outer reflection is also a shift uh, about something that's going on within you. It's a really complicated kind of sense that's coming to me about your month. There's a lot of different layering energies that are coming up, which links in with the first crystal as well. And of course links in with this, with the layers that are coming in here too. So there's also a, a connection to your spirituality. So there's a connection to, to going to a, a higher vibration of spirit. So you might find yourself really wanting to meditate more, maybe wanting to connect with, you know, there's a Buddhist energy that goes with this. So you might want to connect with other religions or to find out more information about how people connect to their spirituality. I'm getting one more thing that's coming in here and it's not the color of the voice, but I'm saying, I'm hearing that your voice is going to get stronger. So it's almost like you're going to speak up and I can feel a little little energy going through me as well when I, when I say that. So you're gonna be either learning to speak up or you are gonna be speaking up, speaking up for yourself, speaking up for your rights, speaking up for who you are and who you want to be. Okay, that's it for the Crystal Coloscope. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Please share it with your friends. Let me know in the comments below if you intuited the color and the crystal and if the message has resonated for you. I will see you soon. Lots of colorishes blessings to you. Bye.